Sean, yeah, you're the best. You're gonna go out there, you're gonna kick some butt. How are we all doing this afternoon? You were watching the last show, and it was a great day. I'm excited, so let's get this show started. This is the 9th of November of October. I like the number 9. I wore it during sports in high school. Most people did not know this because I was constantly warming up the bench. This week is the seventh week of class. Boy, time flies by. But don't worry, the freshmen are still wearing their lanyards. I went to the UNI Health Center the other day. They told me I had a fever. I've got panther fever, baby. Woo! The cat and the kitten are the names of you and I's mascots, respectively known as TC and TK. These short names make it easy for fans to remember. This is unlike the previous mascot, who is known as the cat, with strengths in athletics, academics, community involvement, and clubs and organizations, or simply put, T-C-W-I-A-A-C-I-C-A-O. Whew, that's a long one. Okay, so tonight at 9 p.m., there's an observatory show in McCollum Hall. People are to meet by the polar bear room near room 137. It is also mandatory to bring a Coca-Cola. I tell you what, there are some students at this university who know exactly what they want in their future. And I'm like, what do I want for supper? Now, I tell you what, I have a three-step plan to making you and I the best college in the nation. First, we need to lower tuition. Second, advertise more. And third, release a live panther on campus. That's right. I'm a big sports guy, so let's talk some panther sports. You and I play South Dakota this Saturday, and it's a battle of the panthers versus the coyotes. Wait a minute. What? Oh, God. Coyotes. Coyotes. Cut. I, I give up. Whatever. I'm sorry. All right. So, that was hard. Okay, so, South Dakota is also where Mount Rushmore is. So, if you're going to the game with your family and are 55 and over, you're in luck. And if you are 25 and under, jump out of the car! If there is an intimidating mascot award for opposing team mascots of Northern Iowa's, it would either go to the Northern Colorado Bears, South Dakota Coyotes, oh, I still can't get that, or Iowa Hawkeyes. Coming in last place for the 25th year in a row is the Indiana State Sycamores. It's a tree. I mean, come on. Like, what else? That's not going to scare anyone. Okay, whatever. So, the men's golf team finishes up the, their fall season at the Bill Ross Intercollegiate Tournament in Kansas City, Missouri. The team is disappointed because this is not the Bob Ross tournament. They're expecting happy accidents, gorgeous trees, and beautifully painted mountains. Got it? Yeah, it's painting. That's what he does. Okay, so the women's golf team has three more tournaments before their fall season ends. They have ones in Springfield, Missouri, Omaha, Nebraska, and Boonville, Indiana. In other words, the most boring places to travel award has been given to the UNI women's golf team. The University of Northern Iowa Panthers' hopes of intimidating their rival by acquiring an actual panther were dashed when the rival students pulled out a gi giant laser pointer. The video of the event has since crashed the internet. You know, the internet. All right, so for nine more days, the art exhibit, Nature's Toolbox, Biodiversity, Art, and Invention will be showing. Never showing again is Old Man Johnson's naked performance art piece. Whew, that was a disgusting one when I saw that. Whatever. All right, so be sure to head over to the UNI Gallery of Art to check out the exhibit, String Theory and the Superconducting Super Collider Series. It ends next Saturday when it will be replaced by the stringent shock, stocking, shocking string, think tank theory, and the supercalifragilis expialidocious conducting super duper collider colliding collider season scepter series. Whew, that was a doozy. All right. So the other day, I had to go to Rod Library, Rob, 
I had to go to Rod Library, which was better than what I did the day before when I went to Wrench Hall and PVC Pipe Auditorium. So coming up uh, soon is Dr. Bart D. Ehrman is speaking in the Center of, for Multicultural Education tomorrow. He has his own nonprofit organization, which raises money for alleviating the effects of poverty, hunger, and homelessness. I tried to form my own nonprofit organization, but no one wanted to donate candy bars to me. I don't get it. I, I love Skittles. I love Hershey's, all that. I don't get it. Whatever. So many of the buildings on campus have been named after Northern Iowa presidents, like Mocker Union, James Mocker, Gilcrest Hall, James Gilcrest, and Dum Dum Laboratory, James Dum Dum. Oh, that's a terrible name. All right. So. You and I also had a president named Constantine William Curris. He is not to be mistaken for to not to be mistaken for having the same name as the titular character of the movie Constantine, which stars Keanu Reeves. Imagine if Keanu Reeves was our president. Buses would never stop. You and I's football team would need to bring in replacement players and a campus where machines would extract humans' bioelectricity and thermal energy by growing people in pods while their minds are kept under control by cybernetic implants connecting them to a simulated reality called the Matrix would exist. Ugh, that sounds scary. Whatever. So, you and I used to be called the Iowa State Teacher College, or for short, ISTC. This abbreviation is much better than the abbreviation for the American School of Science. Oh, oh God, yeah, that's not good. Okay, well, I work at the McLeod Center for Security. The term Mick makes everything sound better, like McDonald's, Ryan the Terror McCarthy, McDuff, McLovin, and McBooger Face. I also smell like poo. Wait a minute. Who put that on the prompter? Ah, oh, jeez. Okay. I had a class in the C Triple E building during my freshman year, and it was far away. I felt like it was the Oregon Trail. I got very tired, my feet hurt, and a friend always died of dysentery. I, it always happened. I couldn't believe it. <sighs> well, I, I have lived off campus for three years now, but I still miss eating at the dining centers. There's nothing better than these three things I can eat there. First, the endless supply of ice cream. Second, the endless supply of ice cream. And third, let me think. Let me think. The endless supply of ice cream. It's all good. I loved all of it. All right. So let's get down to business. I want everyone watching to know we are a you and I show. So we want full you and I support. We actually ran a few test shows and we filmed a few people's reactions to it being a you and I show. Some were not happy. Roll the footage, Miller. I guess so. Man, I love Batman. Man, boots are awesome. Basketball. <laughs> but I'm shoe hand guy. Ridiculous. It is very peculiar. 
peculiar those people are wearing the same you and I shirt and sit on the same couch. Whatever, I guess that it just happens. Well, I'm very excited for tonight's show. We'll be right back after the break with a couple more fun things. And also, Winston Miller and Chef Carly Beisel. College is an avenue for learning that can lead to successful job opportunities okay. in the future. Yeah, However, the education you need cannot be gained simply by going to class. Joining Cedar River Productions is the best way for you to get hands-on experience and one-on-one -on -one help with technology that will be crucial for your future. This is your chance to get ahead of other students by gaining knowledge about new technology. You'll be given all the opportunities to turn your ideas into reality and fine-tune your skills and abilities along the way. Make the most of your college experience. Become a member of Cedar River Productions. I am a future panther. I am ready to transfer. I am building my skills. I am social networking. I am investing in my future. I am challenging my students. I am running my own business. You can be too. Visit IMUNI.net. Uh, okay. Here we go. Um, just want to say we're back here on the last show. I, right now we're doing my freaking enemy right there. Here, now we got it. Uh, so thanks for sticking through a, uh, with us through the lovely PSA. Before we get to Winston and Carly, I want to talk about something of a rather serious issue. The other day, I was walking around campus and something terrible happened to me. It was quite traumatizing. Roll the footage, Johnson. What are you doing? That was so scary. Uh, the funny thing is, which I, you saw earlier, I, the guy, I, I jokingly asked the guy punched to come to the show, and he, he ended up coming. I mean, oh man, I just. 
don't like you. Oh, man. Come, come over here. Just come over here. Okay, get in the frame here. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. You know what I want you to do? You know what I really want you to do right now? Get out of here. Why do you? Oh, my God. I punched you in the face. I want you. Get, get, oh, just get out of here. Oh, oh my gosh, that was ridiculous. I tell you, I can't believe I can't believe I invited him. Whatever. So we're gonna move on. Uh, since he was my only audience member, I guess here. Well, I still hate him, but since he's gone, I did want to get to back to in a more important part of the video. I did not realize how romantic it was between the panther and I. Roll it, Stevenson. Stevenson? Yes. Woo! That sexual tension is killing me. I'm so sad I had to part ways with the panther. But I would like to move on to the next segment of the show. It's time to answer those Facebook questions. I told people to ask me any question related to you and I. So you know, since we are on UNI TV, boom, here we go. All right, first question is right here. I don't know if you can see it, probably not, but it's will you go camp and kneeling tonight? Oh, uh, well, probably not because you know it's not homecoming. That's a famous tradition. Uh, I guess I did ask this question probably about a month ago to get good replies, but uh, no, absolutely not. If you had a pet panther, what would you name it? I would name it um, eh, eh, Purple Panther because, like you and I, I'm a you and I supporter. I love, I love you and I. And that's from Emily Ewald, a good friend of mine. All right, why didn't I get free tuition to you and I when the president was Robert D. Koob? Question asked by John Koob. You know Koob, good friend of mine. Uh, you and I just doesn't do it that way. We have to, we have to, people have to pay to come here unless you're really, really smart. But unfortunately, John Coop wasn't super smart. But all right. So my friends and I love caribou. Right now, to get 10 cents off our beverages, we need to know what the initials of you and I's mascots, TC and TK, stand for. What are they? Easy. The cat and the kitten. I talked about it earlier. What's this one? Oh, that doesn't matter. All right. Who do you like more, TC or TK? Oh man, that is a doozy of a question. All right, so I like I like TC because he's nice and tall, and uh, yeah, he's nice and tall. He's bigger than TK, but I do like TK. She's a nice little, nice little kitty cat. Um, but honestly, I I enjoy it. I, I like it. I like TC. I say, I, yeah, I'll go with TC. I think that's a good one. So that, that, okay. Well, sorry. Um, I can come back for more questions, I guess. All right. So I guess I'll just come back to this, the, uh, well, the caribou one. I already did that. So that doesn't matter, I guess. Um, okay. If you had a pen, what? Okay, we're bringing out our first guest. I, we're moving up. We're doing fast here. All right, come out, Winston Miller. All right. How you doing? I'm doing great. How are you? All right, here's my friend, Winston Miller. Put on your mic. We're just going to have a nice little casual talk. Sounds lovely. How, um, okay, now his name is Winston Miller. Good to meet you all. All right. Uh, we know each other from high school. We went to uh, North Tama. Fantastic school. The fantastic school it is. Um, and, but you... After you graduated, you're two years younger than me. I am. And then you decided uh, to go to Hawkeye, good college. But I also, uh, but you've transferred here. So can you just talk about your decision to transfer here? You know, uh, I transferred here because I knew the teaching program was really good, and I want to be a teacher, so that was a big bonus. And the location's good for where I was living at the time, so I figured, why not you and I? Yeah, it's a good college. How do you like it so far? The transfer from Hawkeye was difficult. The workload's a lot yep. more, but uh, I'm getting a hold of it, and I really enjoy it now. Okay. It's a good school. I, I like to hear that. Um, 
What major? I, did you say what major? English. Specific, English. I want to be a teacher? secondary English teacher. You want to be an English teacher. Did yes. any teacher inspire you to want you, want to do that? I had a teacher named Mr. Darrow. Mr. Who Darrow. Was, I remember having him. He was pretty extreme. Mm -hmm. And you know, he, I kind of bonded with him in my time at North Tama, and he had a big influence he on my decision. He had a big influence. That's good. Yes. Um, so do you have any professors here that you enjoy? Uh, James Davis is James one Davis? that I really enjoy. He He's teaches a good one. my uh, craft of creative nonfiction class. Awesome. Yes, I, I like to hear that. Yeah. Um, I'm glad. I'm glad you're enjoying it here. Um, also, what? Who? What do you? What's better, a panther, Hawkeye, or a cyclone? I'm gonna have to go with a panther because in a fight, a panther would win against a Hawkeye. Like the bird? Yeah, and absolutely. And a cyclone isn't even a real thing. It's just a tornado with a bird thing. All right. So, yeah, that's yeah. that makes perfect sense. I, I thought so. I completely agree with that. Um, what's your favorite part on campus so far? I really like the rec center. Uh, like the after rec a center? long, stressful day at class, I like to go to the weight room and burn some steam. Uh, burn some steam. Oh, what, yeah. What's your uh, favorite lift? Probably the deadlift. The deadlift? Yes. How much? My most I've ever gotten is 385. Oh, 385. Yes. I, when I lift, it's usually a struggle, uh -huh. and I walk out of there with my head hung low. That is understandable. I'm, I'm sad. I, I just, I never liked lifting, yeah. but it's not whatever. So, awesome speaking with you, Winston. It was good speaking <laughs> I know, I'm you, glad Sean. you came here. Okay, but we'll be right back af after the break with Chef Carly. College is an avenue for learning that can lead to successful job opportunities in the future. However, the education you need cannot be gained simply by going to class. Joining Cedar River Productions is the best way for you to get hands-on experience and one-on-one -on -one help with technology that will be crucial for your future. This is your chance to get ahead of other students by gaining knowledge about new technology. You'll be given all the opportunities to turn your ideas into reality and fine-tune your skills and abilities along the way. Make the most of your college experience. Become a member of Cedar River Productions. I am a future panther. I am ready to transfer. I am building my skills. I am social networking. I am investing in my future. I am challenging my students. I am running my own business. You can be too. Visit iamuni.net. Experience, the community, the chemistry, the expertise, the right fit, and all the opportunity in the world to create your masterpiece. Enjoy the university experience in perfect proportion. And because we teach how to learn, the students of UNI are well prepared to create a lifetime of masterpieces. Create your masterpiece. Experience the University of Northern Iowa. Discover the place, the thinking, the numbers, the canvas, and all the opportunity in the world to create your masterpiece. Learn how to learn at the University of Northern Iowa, and you'll learn you can create a lifetime of masterpieces. Create your masterpiece. Discover the University of Northern Iowa. Hey, thanks for staying with us, everybody. It's been a good show. But now we are back with Chef Carly Beisel. She is a master chef. She's here to discuss how to make the most famous college meal, ramen. Take it away, Carly. Well, the first step is you always need to uh, keep keep a clean canvas. Oh. And I always say the hands are the most important canvas. So we're just going to go ahead and glove up here. All right. And then uh, since I'm making ramen, you know, if this is an old, old family recipe, uh, Great Aunt Ramen. It's been passed down Great Aunt for ramen. generations. If you want to just go ahead and you can just kind of stab the top. There's really no... No rhyme or reason for this at all. But if you want to go ahead and just okay. try, and, try and open that. All right. Here. And then this is a really important step that people always always neglect. You have to use purified water. Here, uh, we're having a little difficulty. We gotta put your mic on. You know, Chef Carly. You know what? I think we forgot that. Yeah. yeah whatever. 
Real chefs don't use mics, yeah, but you know, that's just mics. something. We got it. All right. There we go. Perfect. Perfect. Back to what I was saying, purified water. Purified water. Uh, if you don't use purified water, the ramen will curdle. And that's a fact oh. that, you know, nobody wants Ugh. curdled ramen. That's just, no, nobody wants that. So what you're going to do is, see, this isn't really, uh, you know, this isn't really... Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're just going to toss oh, all that, you know? I did not do And there's actually job. a fill line in here, so you're just going to take your purified water oh. and just mm, look how, at that. How purified is that water? How great is it? Oh, it's distilled at least 30 times. Oh. So, just great. Best water in the world. Okay, so then what you're going to do is you're going you're gonna to pop this in the microwave. All right. And uh, luckily, we have a microwave down here. Yeah, we so got it right gonna, below. It's nice. We're going to let that cook in there let for a little cook. bit. All right. And then I've actually brought with me a prepared. Oh wow! A prepared, uh, I did not ramen. expect that. Yeah, I know, I know. And there's another thing uh, to make this recipe better. I actually take out the corn, but since uh, we're filming in Iowa right now, I figured I'd leave it in. Oh, absolutely, it's harvest. So it's gonna look like this when it's done. Just a beautiful look at that steam. Beautiful Ooh. bowl of golden noodles. So if you want to go ahead and just try that, oh, I'll just nab tell down. Me what on you think. That. Oh. That's some good ramen. Oh, yep. oh yep. yeah. Let me. I gotta get two of these. I mean, um, you know, and, and it's not expensive at all. That's why it's such a hit, right? Uh, yeah. Great, great aunt ramen was like, you know, we're gonna. She's we're gonna, gotta keep it low. She's gotta keep it low. Gotta keep the price convenient price those for everybody. Price competitors out of it too. So right? yeah, right, right. But just like I said, distilled purified water is is the key. It's the distilled, secret. Distilled purified Distil water. Yeah. Um, this is just Aquafina. You can pick this up at oh. your local supermarket. All right. Super convenient. Check that out if you want some good distilled water. Go to, uh, go to your grocery store. Go to your grocery supermarket, store. Supermarket. Yep. Whatever it's called. Right. Um, so this was amazing. Mm -hmm. I, I, I just kind of want to keep eating it. Do you want some? I mean. Nope. I'll, I'll take oh, it. Okay. Well, <laughs> you sure? Yeah. I'm, I'm sure. But. Okay. Um, but I want to ask you, what's your other like favorite meal if you're going to cook something? If what? I'm cooking, yeah, if you know, you're cooking, I'm besides go, this ramen, which we right. know is the top, top notch. Holy grail for me is definitely frozen pizza. Frozen pizza? Frozen, yeah. What kind? Tombstone, DiGiorno's, um, Jack's. Jack's. So my great uncle Jack. Your great uncle actually, Jack? Actually, yeah. Oh, yeah, the pizza. wow. That is just convenient naming in your yep, family. Yeah, isn't it? Yeah. What's, what's your favorite kind? Uh, just a classic pepperoni. I feel like it's satisfying to almost... Almost any taste bud, you know. Any taste bud. Yeah. I'm I'm more of a sausage guy. What yeah. can I say? There's so many different varieties. It's perfect. All right. What? Uh, well, I was gonna ask you another question, but I think we're out of time. Yeah. So, I would like to thank Winston and Carly for being here. It has been wonderful for you guys to join us. Um, but most importantly, thank you for everyone who has watched the show. I really appreciate it. this. Was a dream of mine to do the show for you guys. So, I hope you enjoyed it. And it's time for one last thing. Yo, DJ, drop that beat.